Welcome to Melanated Mondays. I'm your host, Aj. And I'm Tay. And we're here to review our favorite books written for us by us. Period. Today we will be reviewing Midnight by Sean. Please be aware that there will be spoilers and explicit content for mature audiences only. Triggers for this book included erotic scenes explained in great detail and marijuana use. Alrighty. So what did you rate this one? Um, I gave it a 4.5. I feel like I just wanted a little bit more of their love, like, after they got together um, later in the book. Like, I wanted to see how that developed. But other than that, it was fine. Um, what did you rate it? I think, yeah, like a, like a probably like a 4.7. Yeah. <laughs> like, it was... It was really good. It was really good. I, I liked it. I was just like, Tyler, just be with this man. Like, why are you playing games? She was so dramatic about everything. I'm like, girl, get it together. Yeah. I So a short synopsis of this one is we have our main character, Tyler. And she and Midnight, who is our other, our main male character, they have like, a crush on each other pretty much and but they're friends and they're in the same friend group and so they never like want to cross that line but like midnight is at the point where he's just ready to cross the line and he don't give a fuck <laughs> and <laughs> he's like I don't care and so they ended up sleeping together multiple times but Tyler is like trying to avoid him because she doesn't want to like make things weird and ruin the friendship but it's like midnight's trying to be her man no, and she real. likes him back so it's not like a one-sided thing she's just very like doesn't want things to be weird but I'm like girl your friends they already know you fucking him so just yeah <laughs> just, like come like, on now like like they're trying <laughs> she's trying to be like so secretive and like and then it's just like the sex is great so what is the, What's the what problem is the, what is the problem yeah yeah um midnight I don't know like I read the con things and there was like an author's note and she was like that people were upset because it was you know a iteration I thought it was really good like that didn't even mean nothing like midnight was on top of it like he was he was that dude like so fucking smooth in his words like I was like oh my god this man he had the town scared to even talk to this girl he's talking about well nobody look my way I don't know what's going on with the dating scene girl no <laughs> man told him don't nobody need to talk to you you already got a man and then she was so mad like <laughs> girl get over it I'm like not you mad this man is like uh uh-uh, uh you ain't about to be he you ain't about to be talking about talking to other dudes around here <laughs> not over here you ain't i was cracking up i was like exactly exactly i'm like that's sh- exactly that's your man girl like quit playing and then he also was a talker and you know i just love a talker he was a love talker a, love a talker him and his smooth ass little comments that he had all the time and he really was eating her up like <laughs> no he really was like he was <laughs> he was talking hot shit like he had some oh okay well damn all right sir she was getting on my nerves because i'm like girl like you're getting all this great sex and he's telling you he's it wasn't even like he wasn't openly communicating with her like he was very much telling her like this is what I want it to be and she was just like I'm gonna just we just gonna have this bomb ass sex and then I'm gonna avoid him which where did in what world did you think that was gonna work no it never works like that girl (laughs) like come on now like this man is literally giving everything that you want everybody that you run into is not giving you anything of substance at all and you have this one man who's literally one he's a chef and you know my ass like to eat so he already won my heart from there and I'm like, you got a man who can cook. You got a man who is clean. He's smart. He does what he has to do. He's on top of his game. He's, uh, you know, he's not stupid. Like, I I liked him. And he was, and he talked his shit, okay? 
every chance he got. Every time. Like that the one scene where he <laughs> he was telling her like are you here to cuss me out or are you here to get fucked? Because we can do both. That was and my I was favorite. so dead. <laughs> and he's like, I can fuck you while you curse me out. I was so dead because I was like, girl, be for real. Exactly. Why are you here? Why are you here? He was because like, you can hate you me, know what you- but you gonna come. Okay. You, like, you know what you came here for. Yes. You know, what, you know what you came here for. Like, be for real. And she was just driving me nuts. Nuts. I'm like, Tyler just and then it was like you know obviously she's trying to hide it from the friend group but it's like clearly they're like clearly something's going on even her sister is like when she was talking to Midnight like I know you been fucking my sister oh my god she came in and bum rushed him she was like, she really was and she was like normally when you get a good dick like you're supposed to be happy why is she depressed she was like explain like you got bad dick it's like explain what's going on because she seems real depressed and this is not what's supposed to be happening i feel like tyler just made it she made it more than what it was what it was as far as like her being so scared about the friendship thing and it being awkward. It was like, girl, you're the only one worried about that. Don't nobody else care. This man apparently told the whole town to leave you to hell alone. Like, exactly. He and wants then... to be yours regardless of what you're feeling right now. Like, let it go. She's like, I don't want to be in a relationship. Like, girl, you have And then this even man. like when MJ, I think it was MJ that was telling her like, I always thought there was something going on by like the way he looks at you. And it's like, like, so, okay, girl, everybody already knows how he's feeling about you. So it's not going to make anything weird. You're making it weird. You know, what was a twist? The fact that she said that they had been fucking on and off for longer than that. She normally said, because she was like, Oh, like we, we only fucked one time. And then it came out to be like it was more than one time. It was every time they seen each other damn near. <laughs> I was like, oh, hold on. Girl, that is your man. That's your man. That's literally, that was me. I'm like, girl, that's literally your man. Like, yeah, your man, your man, your man. Like, come on. And every quote from him was just chef's kiss. No, for real. I was highlighting everything. <laughs> chef's kiss. Like, all my highlights are just quotes from him really because he was talking that talk he really was I was like girl he just want to be with you and he's giving you great dick and he's a good man and he has his own business like and y'all have a good vibe like it's not like he's like creepy just trying to be with her and she doesn't want to be with him it's like you feel the same way you just are like I don't want. I don't want things to be weird. It's like you're making it fucking weird. She she definitely was making it weird. And then like I did like the fact that they um, explained a little bit of his background, so we knew a little bit more about Midnight and like where he came from and like what his name meant and stuff. Because I was like, hold on, who called this man Midnight? <laughs> but then it came together. It made sense. So I was like, okay, yeah. I I really like this one though. I was like, I don't know if I like this one more or the first book. I don't know. I, don't know. I thought maybe about it's that like a too. tie. I think it's a tie. I like them both, but I'm like one thing about this male character, he did it for me. He did. I was, I was like, damn, you smooth talking motherfucker. You really. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you you really did it for me. He had a mouthpiece on him. That's what it was. He did. The talk. And but then I'm like, okay. Then the scene where like she eats that edible and you know she goes out and then she calls him. I'm like, see, girl, you're playing with fire. Because you keep ignoring this man, telling him you don't want to be with him. And then you go out and you're high. And who do you call? Him. Him. And then he comes to get you, of course. Because he's not just going to leave you there. And then you end up in his bed. And then you wake up in the morning and you give him head. Mm. What did you think was going to ha- Like, and then I'm like, girl, see, you're the one giving mixed emotions. Because you're telling him one thing. And then your actions are showing something totally different. Yes. Because for you to try to ignore this man and then you wake up and you're like, let me just give him some head right quick. 
I mean, and then you swallowed. It wasn't even just like, let me just, you know, let me just give you a little quick. No, bitch, you that's very, love. Okay. You was very in tune with what you was doing. So of course this man ain't going to leave you alone. <laughs> what you thought? Like that's your husband now. Okay. That's, that's your husband. That's your like, husband. You have a husband. Exactly. I'm like, girl, be for real. Especially because he wanted, it was so, it was not even one-sided. Like, she knew she wanted him. She was Mm -hmm. just playing too many damn games. And so it was like, he was, he was really putting in all the effort, if you ask me. I feel like he was, he was showing you what he wanted from you. And he was giving you the time to see it. And his patience was, he had patience, because baby, I would have let go. Like, you're doing too much. He was very, very patient. She was doing the most. She was, the fact that she ignored him after they had like that intimate moment, intimate night, like, girl, you're, are you serious? Okay, but one of my favorite scenes was like (laughs) when he pulled her to the side and they were in the closet and then he was like fingering her and she was like so, so close to coming (laughs) and then he just stopped. Stopped and walked out. (laughs) And she was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and then he, like, told her, like, you don't get to come, like, all over my fingers and then tell me we're nothing. So I saved you the trouble. I was so dead. Because I was like, see, this is, I was like, that's your fault. That's what you get. Honestly, that, well deserved. That is your fault. And she was really just dumbfounded. And I'm like, see, that because you keep playing with that man. That's, that's, your, that's what you get because you keep playing with him. Mm-hmm. You're not wrong. She was she was playing with him. And like, girl, you know you like that man. You know you do. Just give him the chance, okay? Exactly. And obviously in the end, you know, they are whatever the hell they are. So I really I really want like another book of them. Me too. And I felt like I don't think they're in another book. I want them to be though. <laughs> Cause I'm like Obviously, I mean, she said yes, because obviously he was dicking her down good. But still, I was like, I want to see <laughs> after that Me too. how the relationship progresses. Because I feel like they were a good fit. Like, they were a really good fit. So I'm like, I hope we eventually get another book of them two. Because I feel like their characters, like, meshed really well together. They did have a lot of chemistry. I would say that. The chemistry, the sexual tension in this book was like all, at an all time high. <laughs> Definitely, I. Oh, every time they were near each other, it was just like sexual tension on a thousand. Even in the beginning, when she was like hanging on to his arm and stuff, and he was mm-hmm. like introducing her as my Tyler, like he was just like he was he was like that's your man i'm like girl that's your man quit playing these games acting like that's not your man i'm like you're just being coy like let it go Mm -hmm. (laughs) so i'm like damn i hope we get another book of of their story because yes like obviously you know the ending scene is they're having sex and pretty much he's just sticking her down good and so she just pretty much agrees to whatever he wants to (laughs) Oh, because he gave her an ultimatum. And she was like, did he give me an ultimatum during sex? And I'm like, he sure Mm -hmm. the fuck did. I was agreeing with her. Like, girl. Because, I mean, he said, look, clearly, the only time I'm going to get the answer I want. (laughs) So I'm going to use that to my advantage. Yeah. And she sure as hell did agree. She said, whatever you want. (laughs) So I'm like, okay, now we need a second book of the relationship developing. (laughs) I agree. The sex scenes in this book were definitely 10 out of 10 also. I enjoyed them. Every single one of them. I don't think I had a favorite. Probably the closet scene because because of the way that he like walked away from her <laughs> and left her like <laughs> That scene really had me so tickled because I was just like that's what you get. Yeah. I'm like because you, you've been playing with this man's emotions and now look at you. Now look at you. Just wet and horny in a closet. Looking dumb. Looking dumb. <laughs> Looking dumb. That's what you get. I think that was probably one of my favorite scenes, too. Because I was like, yes, Midnight, you got to put your foot down. Don't let her just keep on doing this to you, y'all fuck. And then all of a sudden, she go and ignore you. Like, no, yeah, we're not nuh-uh. doing that. Not when you're giving it up that good and laying it all out on the line. Exactly. Like, no. This I'm like, 
I'm like, this is good, some good sex. This wasn't like no, just mediocre. Like, Mm-mm. she was literally like, oh my god, like I'm becoming addicted to this man, so I need to uh-uh. ignore the fuck out of him. And he was eating her out good too, because she was he was he was he was on some shit. Okay, very much like he was playing no games with her. He really, really was not like. And he definitely knew everything he was doing to her. So he was also cocky. Which I also like. Mm-hmm. So I think I would definitely recommend this book. I would too. I think, especially if you're looking for something that's like the chemistry is good. You're looking for something spicy, but also like you don't have a lot of time to read. Like this would be like a perfect one. Yeah. It's super short, but like the chemistry's there. The characters are there. Like very good i would definitely recommend this one. Oh yeah definitely it was a good read it definitely was not a long read which was nice so i enjoyed it i i recommend absolutely so if you guys are looking for something short to the point great characters good storyline i would definitely recommend this one yes indeed thank you guys for listening all right bye Bye. And it goes